Hi guys, today in this video we are going to create a accordion using Tailwind CSS and Next.js. So let's see how it is. So if I click, it's going to expand and if I click, it's going to collapse. So if I click this one and this one is opened and I'm going to click again on different one like say on this one or either on this one, then, then this one is going to be collapsed automatically and this one will be open. So this is the default behavior of the uh, accordion. So this is what we are going to build today. I hope you guys are excited. So let's get started. So I'm going to open terminal and write npx create next app accordion dash yt. Oh sorry, I have spelled it wrong. Create next app. This should work now. We don't want TypeScript. We want ESLint. Okay, so it's created. Now I will cd into it. cd accordion dash yt and I will do code dot to open vs code inside this folder. Okay, my vs code is here. Okay, now first of all, we are going to do tailwind setup. So for that we are going to go to tailwind.com and go to get started and under framework slide next.js and this step we have done we have created our project now we are going to do this project this step and we are going to open the terminal inside vs code Okay, this step is done. Now we will go and copy this and paste it inside tailwind.config.js file. Select everything and replace and save. Okay, now inside the global.css we are going to paste this. So inside style I am going to delete module.css file. and inside global.css replace everything with tailwind base component and utils okay now we will go back and copy this line so that we can test if tailwind configuration is working now we will go to the pages folder and inside index i'm going to collapse main and collapse footer and going to delete both and I'm going to paste our test test h1 so, so that we can test tailwind configuration. I'm going to remove this import and this style as well. And now I'm going to open terminal and say npm run dev. Trio localhost 3000 is already open so I am going to open localhost 3301 and let's see if our configuration is working yeah our configuration is working the text is underlined so our tailwind configuration is working let's close localhost 3000 so that we can run our project on localhost 3000 uh, instead of 301 let's close this one more time and let's try to run one more time 
this time it should run on local host 3000 yeah running on local host 3000 let's reload and yeah our hello world is here so now what we are going to do is we are going to create a component called uh, accordion item so let's go and create a folder called components and inside this folder we are going to create accordion accordion item dot js and inside here i am going to do rafc to create a functional arrow based component okay looking good now i am going to do remove this from here now we will be having a section with some style with this tailwind style and inside here we will have a div a container div we will give it a class name of px40 pixel and max width max width of 800 pixel okay looking good inside here we are going to map through uh, a data so we have a data accordion data a data is nothing it's just an array of object containing say, title and description so i'm going to show you this is accordion data it has a property called title this is a demo title one and then this is it has a description with some dollar of some text and it has three of such objects one two and another one three okay so now inside our uh, inside our container we are going to do accordion data dot map we will take data and index from here and i'm going to map through each of this and return accordion item accordion item for just for now okay let's go and see in localhost 3000 what we have so we have this so far that we have three accordion item as we can see and we have beautiful background image background color okay so now let's go back now we need uh, two more libraries one for react collapse collapse is going to animate our uh, opening and closing of the accordion and i will be using react icons for the plus and minus icon so let's go first of all install react collapse so react collapse and i will go here and i will go install this one open another terminal and paste react collapse and we also need react icons react icon we are going to copy this and paste this here okay close this terminal okay so we have accord we have collapse and we have react icons so now let's go to the accordion item and inside accordion item we are going to accept some props and those are open toggle title as well as description okay we are accepting these props and now we what we want to do is we want to give it a class name of padding top 
10 pixel okay and then we will have a div and this div will contain some class which I am going to copy paste so this div will contain this class uh, background of white py25 px50 flex justify between item center cursor pointer as well as a on click uh, which will call this toggle function okay inside here we will have a p tag with a class name of text 22 pixel as well as found semi bold okay and inside here we will render our title and in here we will have a div with class name text 30 pixel this time and this div will contain the minus and plus icon so based on the property if open if open is true then we want minus icon uh, and otherwise we want plus icon so let's go get the icon first so search for minus and i'm going to copy ai outline minus let's go and import it first import AI minus icon from react icons and since it's, it's starting with AI so I will have to do it with slash AI otherwise we will do plus icon and i'm going to copy this one see it's coming from same ai package so i can just copy and paste here and forget to do this just like a component we are going to use it okay this is working now now we will go outside of all div but inside of the main div and we will use collapse from react collapse so let's see if our auto import works yeah collapse it's imported from uh, react collapse as you can see here collapse and it, it has a props called is open which will be determined by our open props which we are going to pass from the parent to child and it has a div with class name bg white px 50 pixel as well as pb 20 pixel and we will be having description we will render our description here okay let's go back in index.js and start passing our props so first of all we need open props for which we are going to create a state a piece of a state so let's go and do const open set open equals use state and make sure you import it from react like so import it from react and default value false and we will have a function const toggle equals it will take index and it will be an arrow function and we will say if if open 
equals to equals to index the one which we are opening is already opened if it is the case then we want to return set open to false false or null otherwise we want to do set open to index okay this is our toggle function now let's go back here and inside here open equals to open open equals to not open we have to do index equals 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 open if this is the case then it is open we also need to provide it a key so just using index as a key for now then we will pass title as data dot title we will pass description as data dot description and we will pass toggle toggle as an arrow function toggle and we will pass index here yeah. okay so this is what it should look like let's go back and check what we have so we have this one if I click this is opening and this is closing on the second click and it's not animating right now right now it's not animating let's make it animated so everything is working but it's not animating so to make it animated we are going to go to react collapse react collapse and inside the home page we have to attach a css so which is given in here okay this css i'm talking about just copy this and inside the global.css file paste this here and now go back to localhost 3000 and now click it's animating and if it, it if this one is clay opened and I'm going to open this one, it's going to close this one and opening this one. So this is what the accordion is going to look like guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos. If you like the video, please like it. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching. I will meet you in the next one.